welcome back or if you're new here welcome to my channel as long as you've changed pages Rosie here and welcome to a day of fallen night reading vlog so as you can see i started reading this last night i've already started having it orange is action purple is dragons and dark pink is my appreciation of the writing so i got to page four yesterday and the atmosphere, I forgot how much I love Samantha Shannon's writing. And I'm also doing Realmathon. So, this is my first book for Realmathon. And look how chunky it is. I have the Waterstones exclusive edition. So, I'm really excited about that. My version is dark blue with bronze writing on the side just in case any of you missed it so I'll tell you my prompts the prompts that I'm using for this for Realm of One so I didn't know whether to defend my realm or attack another realm with this book I have decided that I am going to defend Enya with this book because I have five prompts that I can do this with but in attack I only have three so I have a book with a map it actually has that map that map and them two maps so it has four maps book that plays with history i asked chloe if it plays with history and she said yeah i would class it as playing with history it has multiple point of views it's the prequel of Priory, so are we surprised? No. I can spell my name on this book, and I'm so proud. I'm so happy of it. So you have L, A. There is a U on the exclusive edition V. There's an R. There's an E. And there's an N. So you can spell my first name. Lauren in this. Can't spell Rosie, I don't think. R O S A. Oh, you can spell Rosie as well. So, either way, I can spell my online name and my real name on this cover. Sources of Light? Spoiled. So, those are my five prompts that I'm using for this. I get 17 points for that. And then I get bonus points. Obviously, this is a fantasy, so that is my realm's genre. It is also over 800 pages long, so I get 40 points for that. So that's 50. I can't remember what the other points were for. Hang on a minute. Oh yeah, I just read my notes. Um, it is reading a self-pubbed or a indie author, meaning when you research this book, it doesn't come up with a publish publishing house. So like Macmillan and stuff like that. So this is self-pubbed in that sense. So I get 77 points in total because of this book. And that's defending Enya. I 
I decided to restart this because I was really really tired when I actually started this and I actually don't remember what happened so I'm just recapping myself. I'm on page two in a minute. They're big pages so yeah. Josh has a headache at the minute that's why he's not reading but yeah. he's waiting for the headache to go and then he'll start reading with me. Obviously, I have had my hair dyed. I'm now a full-on brunette. I decided to go my natural hair colour yet again because I haven't been my natural hair colour for ages. I don't know. I think I was like 16 when I last had it, this colour. So, we are back to normal. I am really happy with this job that she did and I love the layers that she's done. It just makes me look more more my age if that makes sense makes me look a little older which is good because i actually do not look my age i'm 21 and i don't look it but then this hairstyle helps me look that age but i did a full on that obviously i'm enjoying it so much i'm on page 48 so i've read quite a bit since we last spoke and I'm really enjoying it. So far we have met Tanuva and Siu and Espa, who are sisters of the Priory. And it's been a little bit of trouble with Siu. I think that's how you say her name, Siu. It's been a little bit of trouble with her and She's been climbing the tree, the orange tree, and the prioress is just like, oh, it's starting to rot. People are losing their respect for, for the tree. So we've met them. We met Honora and her daughter. We met Glorian and Sabran, but this is a different Sabran from the Sabran in the Priory, this is like one of Sabran's ancestors. So we met Glorian and Sabran, we're watching Glorian grow up, we're watching see you grow up, and there is someone else that we're watching grow up as well. Can't believe I forgot about Dumai. Well I think, grow up. Sabran's had a daughter, and she called a glory. We are learning about all of the ancestors of Iad and Sabran in Priory of the Orange Street and I'm just really enjoying it. There is a lot of pink, dark pink and there's a lot of peach because there's been quite a few cute moments between friends and in relationships and father and daughter I think. And then the writing is just really beautiful. Like she, some of the phrases she uses, they're really, really pretty. So I'm gonna continue reading this. So let's go. So I didn't read much yesterday. I only read like 23 pages, but that's only because obviously I couldn't really do much in the morning. Like in the morning I was doing my morning routine and then I read a little bit. And then I went to the hairdressers, and I was going to read on my Kindle, but the hairdresser was actually speaking to me. So, yeah, I didn't end up reading much yesterday. So, we're going to try and read more today. That is my plan, try and read more today. 
so I can't really update what's going on because I pretty much told you everything yesterday. So I'm nearly 100 pages through this. As soon as I reach the 100 page mark, I'm gonna do a bit of chores like washing up again, putting the dishes away, and dry putting the washing up to dry. For anybody wondering what I'm going to read next, I have no fucking clue. I do have quite the TBR though with library books and my books. So the picture that I just showed you is my TBR, but I also have two other secret books. I'll have to decide from that. So far, I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying the fact that we are learning more about the Prioress. Prioress, the Empress and the Queen, as well as their associates and their daughters. It's really, really nice to just get back into this world and obviously I am flying through this now. So, currently on sprints with Becca, this is her final sprint. So, I'm going to continue reading this at the minute. Right, so we've got Glorian who's got a broken arm. See you who's been punished because she climbed the Priory tree. The Priory orange, like the orange tree. I have also found something else out about See you, which I wasn't expecting. And it's forbidden in that, in their religion. And then there's Dume. Or do my somebody comment below what how you say her name? She's currently on top of the Mount Ipida, I think it's called. I think. So, like I was saying, sorry, my phone died. Dume or Dumai is on Mount Ipida with her friend Kanifa, and they are cleaning this Queen Bell. And it's only supposed to be rang in emergency. What I'm gonna say next is a mistake. I meant to say second in command to the Empress, not the Queen. And the Queen isn't doing so well at the minute because she did a stupid thing, went out into a snow blizzard. So they're dealing with that at the minute. So I didn't actually read much yesterday. I only read like two pages yesterday, which is really not like me. I think in the morning I was on video call with my friend, my best friend Jamie, while Josh was out and I was testing a few games out, because Josh downloaded a few games from PS Plus. So I was trying them out and then I went back to one of the games that I've played before, which is called Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. So I was playing that as well. I really, really wish that I had filmed it because Jamie was literally saying, because I was on video call with her while I was gaming, she was literally saying to me, oh, you're literally the female version of Daz, which I am. I love horror films love anything to do with horror it's just when it comes to horror games i shit myself <laughs> i say the most randomest things like for example chica was chasing me and i i think i said something like nope nope go away you overgrown chicken shit <laughs> so i think that's what ha like that's what happened in the morning and then in the afternoon I went for a really long dog walk with Josh's mum. And we also baked yesterday. We did make a bake or tart yesterday, so I was quite busy yesterday that to the point where I just didn't read much. And then we went to my dad's and we got some more clothes, we got some Pajamas I'm actually wearing today. My Bambi pajamas that I haven't had for quite some time. So, yeah, we got some clothes, we got some pajamas, we got some shoes for me, 
and we got some my colouring books back and my colouring pencils so I can do stuff while I'm listening to an audiobook now. I can literally colour while I'm listening to an audiobook. So that's fucking great. I'm really happy that I can do some of my arty stuff. I'm a very crafty person. It's just I don't have the space to do my crafty stuff, but with colouring, I could just do it on my lap, which is fine. I'm fine with doing that. So usually before I moved here, I did colouring, I did diamond painting and part of me does want to go, want, like part of me does want to get back into doing jigsaws because I used to love doing that when I was younger and I want to get back into doing that. I also paint as well, I love painting. It was like a really big hobby of mine just to do jigsaws when I was younger and I haven't done a jigsaw for ages so I want to get back into that and frame all of my jigsaws that I do that's what I want to do I can't remember what page I was on when I last spoke to you guys but I am on page 100, 158 so I'm nearly at another chapter now. My plan for today is me and Josh are gonna chill in the, like chill this morning. We just got a vibe this morning, and then we're meeting Jamie and Lewis in town. So we're gonna go into town, and I think we're going to walk zones, but I, d I don't know like what exactly we're doing because all I know is that we're chilling in town and reading because Jamie wants to get back into reading so I'm giving her four of my books so she can borrow them and she can read them and yeah that's that's the plan me and Jamie are gonna read I think Lewis and Josh are gonna be talking about Warhammer. So, hi guys. So, I am very, very close to getting to 25%, which is quite a way through. And I'm absolutely loving this. There's more dragon talk. We've gone into an empire of the 12 lakes or something. And the emperor is so sweet to Dome. And then the so-called emperor that Tanuva's gone to see, I think he's an asshole. He's an absolute asshole and he's not living up to his last name because I think like his great, 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 multiple greats and then grandmother was, she didn't slay a dragon, but she brought a dragon back down into the earth. But five other dragons, like really small dragons, have just flown out of the earth and no one knows where they've gone. They've just gone somewhere. And Tanuva and Ezra are the only ones that have seen them. So it's a little bit scary. Well, I did my Sunday update in my Discord and I realised that I didn't really read as much as I wanted to this week. I've only read just over 200 pages which I'm surprised because I've been really productive this week to the point where I'm seeing a lot of family and seeing a lot of friends so that's all out of the way now and last night we started Night Agent and holy shit that first episode was just amazing we want to know more really I'm on page 250 we have dragons we have dragon riders we have Tuva having really, really bad nightmares about Ezba because them two are actually together and it's fucking, it's fucking adorable. And I'm really, really enjoying this so far. Like, I'm loving being back in this world. So now that I've got used to the flow, I am now flying through it. 
currently on my Discord, we're doing a 48 hour readathon. So that's happening. This is day one, going into day two now. Because we started it at 2 pm yesterday afternoon and it's going until 2 pm tomorrow. And I'm flying through this. We keep updating every few hours. So we're all doing really, really well with that. Today, me and Josh have just been reading this morning and gaming, like he's been gaming. And we went for a really long walk with Josh's auntie with three dogs and they ran around, they had an amazing time. So they were really tired when we came home, which was good, which is what we want. And then we've also baked a bake or tart again today. A couple of things went wrong with it, like the pastry ripped and the icing was too thick to the point where it was literally setting as Josh was putting it onto the pastry. So, well, frangipan. So that wasn't good. But it still tastes amazing. It tastes better than the last one that we made. So, yeah, we're doing really good. That is my life update, pretty much, of today. And I'm gonna go read a bit more of this, a bit more of this before we have chicken, a barbecue chicken and rice, which is gonna be so nice. We had barbecue chicken and noodles the other day, which was perfect. So, can't wait for dinner. Bye for now. also forgot to mention that I watched one of my childhood favourites, which is Dumbo, the original. I still haven't seen the real life version one yet, but I really want to see that soon. So, when I next go back to my Disney list, I'm gonna watch the live action version because apparently it's really, really sad. So, I am now on page 337. I have an update with Moji. So, dragons, shit is happening. Like, there's a lot of things that are going on there are some people that i'm shipping but it's not sailing it's failing so we did really well with the 48 hour readathon i read nearly 170 pages just one page off and forgot to mention that josh is doing really well with his book as well he is on page 600 of the hero of ages by brandon brandon sanderson there's these rocks and Fertia, which is a dragon goddess, she's just like, there is too many. And then a massive dragon has just come out of nowhere and she's just like, I can't fight this one alone. I'm not strong enough. We need to get out of here now. So they're flying back home and they're going to warn their home, pretty much. They're trying to warn them and everything. So, it's chaotic. There's a lot of shit going on and CU has given birth, which I cried at because Tuva has been through the loss of childbirth, so that happened and that's a sensitive subject for me to read so i can't help but cry at that and yeah so today's plans is to continue reading until about half past 12 and then i've got to set off for the bus because i have an appointment with restart today my first appointment and I'm going to meet my work coach so that's going to happen and 
I'm really hoping that they're gonna be a nice person. Like they're, go they're gonna get to know me, I'm gonna get to know them. And basically, they're gonna ask me what sort of job I'm looking for and what sort of experience I have. So we'll see how that goes and they'll probably help me with my CV and help me with my mental health. So I'm hoping that they're actually going to help me with my ADHD and my anxiety, which has gone down recently, which is really good. So I'm going to do that, then I'm going to come back, watch a movie, I don't know what movie, I might watch a horror movie or a Disney movie, or just go back to Friday 13th. I watched that yesterday actually, I watched, I rewatched it because I've already watched the first one and I've watched the second one, part two, but those are the only two that I've watched. I didn't watch part two yesterday so I might watch that today. Or I might watch the real life Dumbo or something off of my horror movie poster. But we'll see what happens. And then I'm gonna light a candle and continue reading. So I'm flying through a day of fall and night. I I'm up to page four hundred now and I have thirty-one pages until I'm at halfway, which is fucking amazing. There is so much shit that is going on, like dragons are appearing, the nameless one has appeared and I guessed that he was back. I guessed that he had returned and basically he's killing people. I'm not saying who he's killed because it is a fucking shock and I was almost in tears. But I held it back so we're good with that. I feel sorry for Glorian because she's having to one, grief people, to rule a kingdom on her own at the minute, three, she's only 16 and people are on about her getting an heir straight away and she needs to get married as soon as possible. So that's happening, CU has ran off and Esba is now Prioress, but she's been really stubborn with Tanuva, so they've gone their separate ways at the minute. They've fallen out a little bit, which I'm a little bit sad about. Something happened on a voyage of seven ships, so dragons aren't like dragons are involved with that i'm not saying anything like i'm not spoiling it for you guys at all i'm just telling you what i can tell you and what i'm what my thoughts are at the minute so i'm absolutely flying and i'm done in love with this book so yeah as soon as i'm flying i am probably gonna get to halfway today maybe past halfway hopefully i can get past halfway and my plan is to just read for the rest of the night and basically have my meatballs um past i also forgot to mention that people in dume's empire like they're questioning her and they think that she's gone absolutely insane and she's seen shit and she sees visions all day every day like that's what people are thinking of her and that's not the truth she went with the dragon goddess Fertia and they saw the nameless ones warriors coming out of rocks so yeah they went home they warned everybody and people now think because nothing has happened, no attacks have happened to the town, like to the empires or anything. So now nothing has happened, everybody thinks that Dume is crazy, apart from her father and her mother. They believe her. Hi. So we don't have any internet right now. A little bit annoying, but I think me and Josh are probably going to spend the day reading today because we can't do anything else. I can't watch vlogs or anything 
So, yeah. Also, if you're wondering why my um, quality is different in some clips in my vlog lately, it's because I'm using Josh's phone to record. I'm only using Josh's phone to record because um, my phone, like, I think the battery's not doing great because I've had it for four years and and lately it started not charging sometimes and sometimes it is charging but sometimes like it starts going down while it's charging and it's like when the battery's fucked because I cleaned out the USB port yesterday and there was a lot in my USB port I'm not gonna lie but I don't know I really don't so on the 24th, me and Josh are going to go up to a repair shop and he's going to pay for my phone to be repaired, aka the battery, probably get a new battery. So I want it to last until my birthday because I'm going to save up and I want to get myself a new phone for my birthday this year. So, yeah. It's starting to mess up. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go read a day of following my, um, I'll see how much I read today. I'm probably gonna read quite a bit. Um, the, I'll update you when something really drastic has happened and stuff. And I'll probably vlog a lot today as well. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah. At the moment there's been a dragon war, like there's a dragon war going on and everything. And Dume has seen a Malcolmist. And I'm shocked at two things that I figured out because of what like because of how it's worded. I know who Tanuva's long lost son is. And I know who Glorian sees and speaks to in her dreams and I was quite shocked that I didn't click at all with these two things but I didn't so yeah anyways I'm gonna go April at 6.35 in the evening. I was aiming to get to page 739 of A Day of Fall on Night today and I've reached it. So I have this much left, so not a lot. I'm in the state of I want to speed through and know what's happening because it's action after action after action and so much stuff is going on like there's so many relationships blossoming and stuff and it's just on and on and on really in a good way obviously and i'm at the point where i don't want to leave this world because i love this world so much i love the characters so much and i don't want a book hangover but seeing as i am finishing that on saturday i have literally finished my audiobook not long ago I gave it three and a half stars. The Tales of Beedle the Bard. I'm now currently listening to Somebody to Love by Matt Richards, I think. And I'll show you what I'm going to read next after A Day of Fallen Night. Even though this is a full on Day of Fallen Night vlog. But seeing as I don't have a wheel right now because my phone is fucked, I asked my friend because it landed on friend which one I should read and he said the drive so I am reading the drive next
say that. I finished a day of all night by Samantha Chana. I'm so sad because like I finished this on sprints and I was really tired. And I don't I didn't want to leave this world because I love the character so much. I love this world so much. And it feels like home. And it feels like part of my family. I love this. I really did. I nearly cried because I, I really didn't want to leave this world at all. I was exactly the same with Priory of the Orange Tree as well. But, yeah. I really do love Samantha Shannon's writing. Like, this is an ex the Water Zone exclusive edition. I got a bonus chapter, so that was good. I, like, got some bonus material. And yeah. Thank you so much for being here, guys. And thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And comment below a dragon emoji. Because this was amazing. I absolutely adored this. Love you guys. Bye! Bye.